Hey, it's Eric here at Beach Street Classic Cars with a 1950 Chevrolet 3100 truck. And before I crank this up, it is a pretty loud truck. It's got turndowns right behind the cab and uh, it's got a built engine. So may or may not be able to hear me talking while I drive, but it's got power steering, power disc brakes, Monte Carlo front and rear end. So it drives really awesome. I usually talk about all this stuff while I'm driving it. So I'm gonna crank her up. May not be awful, but Just a tiny little header leak. It may need to be tightened up. I'm gonna shut it off so you can hear me. Really aggressive exhaust. Um, not unbearable inside though, like I was saying. I just I couldn't tell if you could hear me. Um, and uh, a lot of new stuff that's been done. In fact, I've got a list here on the engine because this thing's really been built out. It's got a um, Pro Comp aluminum heads and a Pro Comp aluminum intake. A Howard Rattler cam. It's got a new timing chain and water pump. It's got a new fuel cell, new fuel pump under the bed, and a brand new low car shifter. Transmission was just rebuilt about four or five hundred miles ago, and. Uh, in fact, the truck was purchased in Tennessee, driven back to Atlanta. So, um, and we always say this, you know, when you just build an engine and you just put stuff together, you got to go back and torque everything after it's been heated up a few times. So, um, it, it's probably time. It's probably time to do that. Power uh, steering or power brake pump. It's got power steering. So the truck's got a good rusty kind of patina on the outside, but underneath it, here in the fender wells into um firewall and everything looks really good and uh, man this is just a cool truck so it's got this uh, awesome paint job on it i mean really good patina this is a this is a you know this is a real faded true patina on this truck uh, in other words, somebody didn't come and paint on it. Obviously, somebody put here, Rusty's uh, established in 1950, body and fender repair in Salt Lake City, Utah. And just a really cool low rider. Not, it's not scraping the ground, but you know, lowered, uh, just rat rod shop truck style. Obviously, uh, this truck's got a lot going for it, namely being it's, uh, it's a five window. And these are just getting harder and harder to find. Um, it's got LED lights, the, it's with the built-in turn signals, um, which are awesome. Lights work, the horn does not, and uh, the body is, you know, 
kind of rough i mean but in true rat rod form you know so awesome beautiful pinstriping done and you know just as we go around it i mean i normally i go around and point out every ding dent and scratch and pair piece of rust on a vehicle and i'll do that a little bit here but i don't want to overdo it because this the, the the character of the truck of course if you were looking to finish something off and i have had guys buy these trucks from me just like this and then they want to go back and fix a few of the little rust spots and try to fade it in and patina it in and you could definitely do that if you really really wanted to it's got what you would what i would call a typical rust for one of these trucks that's kind of rusty um so anyways but the cab is in awesome shape uh itself especially around the top all the glass is in good shape it's got the vent window deletes with new glass in there doors open up nicely windows roll up and down it's got new felt so it's still a little bit tight the interior looks awesome it's got this beautiful uh buckskin brown and buckskin uh piping original dash one thing i love is i love that they kept the original steering column and steering wheel that really really personally makes um makes me happy because uh these guys uh that do these rat rods usually the first thing they do is pull the steering column and you got an aftermarket steering wheel from unfortunately usually advanced auto parts or something that they're not worth anything having but the, this has got a nice interior. It looks good, really, really good. And like I said, windows rolling up and down, awesome. Um, hinge pockets are in good shape. Really beautiful patinaed clear coat over the patina on the dash, which is awesome. And I love these gauges. I don't know what brand name gauges these are. I have never seen these before. Most people put dolphin gauges in. I'm not sure who makes these. Uh, they're not all hooked up the oil pressure is the fuel gauge is the battery is um water temperature i believe is not hooked up and the speedometer is not hooked up but man this is just a really beautiful i hate that the sun's shining just right to where it kind of is obscuring the camera a little bit but i'm trying to give you an idea of how nicely done and matching this interior is. so somebody really spent some time and money on the interior to make it look really sharp was lowered in the back which raises up the bed wood and a lot of guys do this some old barn wood this is true uh true one by sixes back here these are actually six inch and they're actually just laying in here uh, which we may need to keep in mind when we're shipping the vehicle 90 percent of the vehicles i sell i ship um so there was an old trunk laying in here and that's actually where that little stain is coming from it was actually a trunk laying inside here we took it out um, decided to keep it unless you really want it. If you hear about me talk about it in the video, you're welcome to it. I have no need to keep it. But another thing that I love about this truck too is the fact that it's got the visor on it. Man, these things are worth, you know, $1,000 for a visor. This one's in excellent condition. It's mounted correctly and um, it just adds the perfect touch uh, to, the, to the truck. So going around the body, like I said, I would, you know, dent here, just a little split in the steel there. Just a few miscellaneous dents here and there on the front fender. This is probably the worst of it. It does have some rust down bottom on this bottom driver's side. Rusted out here. Bottoms of the doors are rusted out. You know. All, that's the whole bottom of the door. Bottom cab corners. And you know, lmctruck.com. If this, if this bothers you and you need to fix stuff like this. I mean... To me, this is the character of the truck and it's a cool rat rod. But if this stuff bothers you, you can buy skins, you can buy cab corners, probably spend four or $500 uh, buying bottoms of the fenders or even if you want to replace the fenders, you can. The bottom of this fender has got rust in it, you know, on both sides. Bed appears to be in good shape. Tailgate's awesome. Another tailgate I'd love to have just to hang in my office on the wall. Little dent right there. Um, and this may have been parked somewhere where it was sitting outside and somehow you know one side got a little rustier than the other i don't know but fender on this side actually looks pretty good a couple little spots there in the spacer step side's got a hole in it there cab corner on this side's rusted out on the bottom as well doors a little more solid than the other one but it's got some spots on it and a spot of rust there as well bottom of the fender down here some rust too so side of the side of the um uh, hood there also a little bit of rust so I don't want to go overboard with being picky about 
how quote unquote rusty it is because it's supposed to be that way. And this thing's got an amazing patina. Just try to hold the camera up here. Usually I can't see it and gotta kind of shade it, but I just wanna show you how awesome the patina is on this. <clears throat> like I said, Monte Carlo donor vehicle front and rear end. Frame rails are in great shape. Floor pans have had patched reinforcement put in it. You know, the guy who built this, he picked this truck on purpose for the patina and the rust factor to give it this look. And uh, uh, it's actually, you know, pretty clean under here. The good looking, you know, joint there to have it clipped in the front. That, that, that's always important to me. What I think is important, so important on this truck is it's a five window. I really feel like whoever did it mechanically went out of their way to really try to put some money in it and make it right. The welds look good. Nice and clean. Floor pans here on the driver's side. You know, obviously it's just got these tiny little uh, two and a half inch pipes with tiny little cans on it for the exhaust. And if it was me, I would personally, it may be just a hair aggressive for me. You can call me a wuss. Uh, I know the old saying is if it's too loud, you're too old. So I may be getting a little older. I'm not even 40 yet. Uh, but anyways, I think if I was going to drive this truck very far, um, I'd probably want to put a dual chamber flow master system on it and run the exhaust all the way out the back. It would quiet it down a little bit, but it'd still keep it with a nice, you know, real nice, uh, aggressive exhaust. So here you have it. It's a 1950 Chevrolet 3100 short bed, five window truck. Super cool rat rod, super cool shop truck. This truck doesn't need anything. It needs a new owner. It needs to be driven. If this was my truck, I wouldn't do jack to it, but drive it. Maybe put a radio in the glove box, hide some speakers somewhere. But I love the fact that the interior has been really kept original, especially on the dash. Steering wheel, a really, really cool truck. Tons of attention. And man, these things are going crazy. I mean, this these trucks are just bringing, they're bringing bigger bucks and bigger bucks every day, even with the rust on them. That's the, that's the, that's the character. So, PeachtreeClassicCars.com. We look forward to hearing from you.